Alright guys, today I am going to be showing you a really cool card trick that you can do using um, two decks of cards. So basically what I'd have you do, you go up to your spectator, you're going to ask them that you're going to riffle down the cards, you're going to ask them to tell you when to stop. So let's say we go ahead, riffle down the side, you stop here, it's going to be anywhere, and let's say we stopped at this card right here, the nine of spades. So you take your nine, you put this into the middle of the deck somewhere, you go ahead, you remember you tell your spectators that they could have picked any card in the deck. We go over to the blue pack here. You're going to look for the same exact card, let's say, where we pick the Nine of Spades. So we go through, here's the Nine of Spades. You take this, you put this in the middle of the blue deck, and again, you remind your spectators you happen to pick. Actually, let's go ahead and leave this out, jog a little bit. So you remind your spectators you picked any card in the deck. You go over to the red deck as well. And just like this size, I'm going to snap my fingers in over here in the blue deck. I predicted you guys would pick Nine of Spades because this one is the only red card and this over here is the only blue card. So this is a trick and if you guys want to do it, don't forget to stick on for the tutorial. Alright, so uh, in reality this trick is actually uh, really simple. The only thing you're going to have to do, and this is kind of the only part I don't like, is you're going to have to make a gimmick, but it's really simple. You just take two jokers, you glue them together, or you use some double stick tape, and you make a double bat card. So I know a lot of you guys are probably not going to like that, but the thing is a lot of tricks actually use a double backer, and a lot of the tricks are really cool. So I'd highly recommend that. So you go ahead, you make your double bat card, and what you're going to do is going to take two duplicate cards. They're not really duplicates, but you take the... Nine of spades from the blue deck, you move this over to the red one, and you take the nine of spades from the red deck, you move this over to the blue one. So what's going to happen is over here with the red deck, you have the double backer, and that is going to go on top. So you have the red deck with the blue nine of spades, and then the double backer on top. And the setup over here is you take the red nine of spades, move that to just about the middle of the blue one, so it's going to look like this inside the middle of the blue. You have these two ones and you go up to your spectator and you can tell them that they're going to pick any card from this red deck. And you be careful not to flash the card like I just did right there. So you go ahead, you can move over a group of cards, spread them out. You say, okay, so I'm going to have you pick a card from the red deck. And all you have to do, you go ahead and cut the cards, you talk them a little more. That way they forget that you just cut the cards. You have a pinky break, you tell them, ask you where to stop. Wherever they say stop, you go ahead, you pick it up from the break, you move that to the top. You're going to flip not only the double over, but this single card. And it might feel a little bit different when you flip them over just because you're flipping over, you know, three cards. It's going to feel a little bit different. Uh, but with the double backer, you can go ahead and push off this single card. And this way, it's not going to look like. So all you have to do, you flip this over, you push this off, and you're completely clean. And you don't reveal the back yet. You go ahead, you ripple down the side, you put their card in the middle, and you can leave this fan out so they can see you know all the red colors you go over here and you tell them and all you have to do is spread just the top half you see look so i'm going to have you or actually from here you tell them you're going to go through the blue deck and you're going to look through the same card so you said all right so you go to remind them you say you could have picked any card and what card you picked the nine of spades you go over you say all right so here's the nine of spades in the blue deck and from here you take the nine out you don't show the back yet you flip over the blue pack put this in the middle from here you can leave the deck spread open you snap your fingers, you tell the spectators, you know, you could have, or you know, you knew from the beginning that they were going to pick the nice spades, and this is how you knew. You go ahead, you show over the back over here. This is the only red card in the deck. This was the only blue card. So this is a little trick, not that big of a deal. All you have to do is make that dull backer. I know a lot of you guys might dislike the video for that, but like I said, a lot of cool tricks actually use it, so I you know, recommend it. Um, so you guys, if you want to see more videos like this, go ahead and subscribe, and if you already are, um, as always, guys, thanks for watching. She's a literal vampire.